Okay, guys, let's go through some adding problems. And our focus today is really going to be on adding when you have more than two sets of parentheses. So before when we've looked at them, it's always been some parentheses plus some parentheses. So this time, when we go through, we're going to add another set. So your job is going to be to put all of these together. Now, the good news is some of this is kind of the same. So we're going to make columns needed to add in standard form this part, just like we've done before. Um, we're going to use each parenthesis as a separate row for the adding problem. So we'll put the first parenthesis in the first row, and the second parenthesis in the second row, and the third parenthesis in the third row. And once you have all the parentheses in place, you're going to total your columns to simplify, which is very much what we were doing before. So if I'm going to go through this first example, the first parenthesis is 3x minus 7. The second one is 5x squared plus 4x. And the third one is 8x squared plus 10. So if I were to look at all of these, I would say the highest x when I see is an x to the second. It's in two spots. So when I go to set these up, x to the second, and then x, and then our number. So setting up the form for being able to plug stuff in is exactly the same. Now I'm going to take this one right here, and I'm going to go and put this in the first row. So just like we've done before, I'm going to take each one of these and kind of separate them so that they're kind of in their own term. And then this first one is going to go in the first row. So I have 3x and I have minus 7. So that's taking care of this first parenthesis. Now when I go to the second parenthesis, I'm going to go down now to the second row that's there. So this is going to go down here. So 5x squared plus 4x. Then this one is going to go down in the third row. So 8x squared plus 10x. Now we're going to go through and just total our columns like we've done before. So in this first column, I know it's all going to be x squared, so x squareds are going to go there. And if I total these up, 5 plus 8 is going to be 13, so it's 13x squared. If I go to the next column, these are all x's, so I know it's going to be an x down here. 3 plus 4 is going to be 7. And since it's a positive 7, I'm going to write plus 7. Then if I go to this last column that's right here, those are all numbers. So negative 7 plus 10 is going to be positive 3. So these are very similar to what you were already doing, just adding an additional set of parentheses. Okay, if I look at the next one and go all the way through, all I see are x's and numbers. So I'm going to set up my columns. Now this right here, I'm going to separate and put that in my first row. So 14 goes with the number, and instead of doing minus 8x, I'm going to do negative 8x. Okay, now second parenthesis, second row. So 13x plus 11. Next parenthesis, next row. 8 and 5x. Okay, now because I have all of this down here, you'll see now I've already did my plus sign and draw my line. And now I'm just going to total. So in that first column, they're all X's, so I know X is going to go there. 
So negative 8 and 13 would be 5, plus another 5 is going to be 10. Then if I go to this column, 14 plus 11 plus 8. I'm going to total those all together. So let's see. So 3, so 33. And it's positive, so I'm going to write plus. Okay, let's see if we can do a couple more here. So in this next group, as I look through, highest exponent is going to be x squared. So x squared, x and my number. Standard form, whether I use it or not, set it up. Then first parenthesis is going to go first row. So 3x squared plus 7x plus 4. Now I'm going to go to the second parenthesis and go to the second row. So 9 and negative 4x. And now this goes in the third. So 6x and 10x squared. Now once these are all sorted down here, you can do your plus sign and draw your line. So 13x squared. Now when I go to this next one, I have a mixture of positives and negatives. So 7 and negative 4 is 3, plus 6 is going to be 9. So 9x, and since it's positive, I'm going to write plus. Last column here, 4 plus 9 is going to be 13. Okay, let's take a look at one more. Okay, on this, as I go through the entire problem and scan it, x squared is the highest exponent I see. So x squared, x, and a number. First parenthesis, first row. So 8, negative 6x, negative 4x squared. Now, I probably would, in these two, add a 1 before I got there. So when I go to put this in the second row here, 3x squared minus 1x. Then this gets sorted in the third row. So 17x, negative 1x squared, plus 7. So now if I'm going to total, I know this whole column is all about x squared. So negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, plus a negative 1 is negative 2. Now in this column, I know they're all x's. So negative 6 plus negative 1 is negative 7, plus 17 is positive 10. And then for this last column, positive 15. Okay, make sure you have some good notes before you go on. Good luck.